Some of the other elements that we can add are the occlusion pass. So let's take a look at that. So this one, again, this adds shadows to your rendering in soft areas. And so we don't want it everywhere, but we do want it in certain areas. And so let's go ahead and add that. And I'm going to simply just drag it on top and hit enter. And let's go back to our layers. And there it is. This is right now, it's on top of my rendering. And what I want are the shadows. And so again, we talked about blending modes. There is one where the white is transparent and the black is opaque. That's uh, multiply. So let's go ahead and set this to a multiply and see what happens. And you can see now we have some very dark shadows. And if I turn that on and off, you can see the effect we're getting. Now it's too dark in certain areas. And so I want to control where those shadows are. So I'm going to create a mask. And I'm going to set this to black. So control I, making everything on this layer invisible. And I am going to paint with white. And I'm going to add, basically I'm going to paint the shadows in areas that I want. So as I come into, for example, this area down here where I have these plants, I can create more contrast by adding shadows in certain areas. And some of it is just understanding light. So we know that the bright areas are on the left and the dark areas are on the right. So I'm going to paint the shadows on the right side. So here we go. And it's just giving me a little more contrast. And it's a nice way to paint shadows in using your occlusion pass. If you want things to feel more grounded in your scene, you can simply paint them in this way. For the most part, this one's feeling pretty good. We're adding more shadows in the shadow areas, basically. We're painting them in. And typically, I do not use an occlusion pass set to 100. I use a very low, small amount, maybe 30%. That's feeling pretty good. But you can see now, if I toggle that on and off, you can see the contrast we're getting in some of those plants. That's feeling pretty good. In addition to a multiply, I will also use a soft light blending mode. And let's go ahead and delete this mask and set this to soft light. Basically what this is, is a brightening of the whites. And so I'm not gonna have it at 100%. Typically, if I do a soft light on the occlusion pass, I will not go past 10%. But this is an overall just brightening of the image, especially in the areas that are dark. So if I have areas that are dark, it's going to bring out those details in some of the dark spots. And we're at 30% here. That's feeling pretty good. But you can see it's not gonna be too dark in some of those areas. So a combination of a multiply and a soft light gives me a little more reading information in my rendering. You can see that the areas that were super dark are now a little bit brighter, and it's giving me a little more contrast. And for the most part, that's how I use my occlusion pass.